Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Polly and this is the Sewing Edit where we talk all about sewing and I share some styling tips I picked up along my sewing journey. So if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel, spread the word about my channel and like this video. Today we're talking about five styling tips to consider before sewing your next spring dress. If you're interested, let's get chatting. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm coming to you from the very sunny Netherlands today. The weather is really turning springtime and that makes me feel like I want to run to my sewing room and sew all the spring dresses um, that there are on my sewing stash. So if you're like me, I would say first we need to talk about some styling tips before we do that. But I want to start my video with a huge thank you to everyone who has been supporting me so far here on YouTube. I have hit my 100 subscribers. Yay! Thank you so very much. This means the world to me. I really mean it. I'm trying to pick up every comment and from you guys and respond to it. Um, if I haven't done that, please give me some time because sometimes this comments come a bit later to me. I don't know why notifications are a bit funny, but I'm hugely grateful for all your comments. I read everything that you post, so keep doing that. I, I hugely appreciate it, yeah? So thank you, thank you very much. Let's move to the topic of today. Um, why I decided to talk about uh, spring dresses is because of my own experience. Have you been in a situation where you have sewn uh, the most beautiful uh, spring dress just to find out a few days down the road that it's not very practical and it doesn't really fit with your uh, overall wardrobe? Well, I don't know about you, but that certainly has happened to me and it led me to think about what are the key points of um, making sure that whatever I sew, I will wear it um, with pride and I will definitely put it to wear in the season. Um, that is, there are, that's how I came up with these uh, five styling tips that I want to share today with you. I want to include a little disclaimer here. These styling tips are solely based on my own experience and I'm not trying to blame or shame anyone about their shape or size. Uh, I truly believe that these tips that I will share today with you can be applied for any shape and size, whatever you, whoever you are. The most important thing is of course to feel good and to look good in your own handmade clothes. So that is the reason why I wanted to emphasize on these styling tips just to take into consideration before you you sew your next spring dress. Wait, did somebody ask me what I'm wearing today? If so, I'll tell you. I'll gladly tell you what I'm wearing today. Well, this is my ready-to-wear jeans jacket that I adore. I've had it for probably five years already. And my underneath is my lovely polo dress by Fiber Mood in a dark green viscose that uh, has pockets and it has a little bit of a waist definition that I love. You can control it here as well. And I've made it into a three quarter sleeve length. Uh, let's talk about styling tip number one. Hemlines, guys, they are so important, guys, girls. Never mind, you, you understand what I mean? It's everybody who sews. Hemlines are seriously very, very important. And the reason why they are important in our dresses is because we need to understand that our overall look doesn't consist of one garment, which is the dress. Our overall look consists of what you're going to layer it with, perhaps uh, outerwear um, on top of your dress, what you're going to put as shoes, what kind of accessories you're going to add, and even your makeup. So, um, especially thinking about the dress and how is it going to relate to your overall wardrobe and how you're going to pair it, it 
really is important to understand what kind of hemline will go well so it can be practical for you not only comfortable but also practical and you can easily use it in your wardrobe so if you're having spring chilly spring days like we do here i very often reach out to my coat um, which is a longer coat i like to wear still my longer coat well in well into april if this is the case i would encourage you to think about um, wearing dresses that have uh, hemlines that are slightly above your um, jacket I will put some pictures uh, here to visualize what I mean but basically when you're wearing a longer ankle length for example dress with your longer coat it just creates this um, visual horizontal lines that are not very flattering it just doesn't it, you want to elongate your look it doesn't look pleasing to the eye looking at a, a long coat and then a whatever skirt you have underneath or dress in this in this case that's why i suggest when you're thinking of um wearing uh, your uh, longer jacket or coat um or even a trench coat reach out for a dress that is let's say midi length or knee length or a shorter version that would work well with your total um with your with your outerwear look with your outerwear um garment very important to consider it H however if you have some l warmer climate and you are very comfortable wearing shorter um outerwear like i do in this case with this jacket you could wear it you could wear your longer skirt longer dresses with a shorter um, jacket just bear in mind that it is very important the length of your jacket in comparison to the overall dress um, you don't want to have a dress that is um, uh, let's say a mid tie uh, uh, sorry a long dress with a mid tie um, uh, blazer for example it just doesn't look flattering it doesn't create these uh, proportions um, two to one or one to two uh, in in your overall um, silhouette so just be aware of that that is why I always say yes this 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 lovely spring dresses that we see everywhere they are fantastic but how practical are they with our overall wardrobe something to think about necklines are equally important just like hemlines to consider when you're sewing your spring dress the key question to ask here is how are you going to layer your dress with your existing wardrobe for example i personally like to wear in springtime or to look for uh, dress designs that have a beautiful flattering v v-neck why because i can layer it in the warmer days with a little camisole or i can in the in the colder days i can put my turtleneck and i will be warm and cozy and i'll still look very put together i also personally like ruched uh, neckline which creates a bit of a tension here um, i find them very flattering and then you can put a very simple um, outerwear top on, uh, on the dress i personally find the very round simple um, necklines a little bit too plain um, and that makes me think that i always have to bring some kind of extra detail on top of, uh, as a top layer just to create this um, a little bit of a sophisticated uh, vibe to my to my overall look so i'm not very fond of very plain simple necklines but i'm sure that they're very versatile and people can uh, play with them but just think about these things when you are choosing your um, sewing pattern because it plays a crucial role in practicality and what you can do with it also bear in mind what is the weather uh, that you're gonna wear this dress in is it a little bit chill chillier if so what kind of outerwear garment are you planning to wear it with and then think about the neckline uh, of, of this dress and how uh, well it will go with your current uh, outerwear uh, garments 
are uh, very much uh, in and they they are so many different ones as we all know um, they make uh, they can make or break the the dress really but the key word i would like to use here is practicality how practical are all these voluminous um, sleeves i love them as well but let's face it when i go out i will not be wearing only my dress i will most probably be wearing something on top as well as um styling it with uh, with some 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 shoes so these are things to consider when you are choosing your pattern because if you have a voluminous very voluminous uh, puff sleeve yes it's very nice on its own but if you have to struggle to put your hand through your coat and then when you take it off and it's all wrinkled it, it's not really something that um, it will give you a pleasant feeling for your next wear so just think about this uh, with, with these things you can also play with the length of your sleeve and the hemline as well so i personally really like um three quarter sleeve length uh, uh, lengths i think they're very flattering also i personally like elasticated hemline on my uh, sleeve because it gives me this um flexibility of where i want to position the uh, the the sleeve and it will most probably stay there instead of me doing this all the time so these are things to think about when uh, when you're choosing your your pattern or maybe just doing a simple modification they're not very difficult to to adjust color and print I can certainly talk about color for hours but I'll try to keep it short here and the key point in color is to make sure that you find a color that suits you and color that makes you feel comfortable in I personally sometimes find that I really like the nudes they're very trendy at the moment as color a different variation of nudes and also I like um, pastel colors in springtime but I'm not necessarily very comfortable in them I find myself reaching out more towards the dark palette colors even in springtime so I try I'm trying to find this balance I would say to you just think about when you are choosing the color of your spring dress uh, how does it make you feel does it really suit you um, advice based on my personal style style is if you're looking to for a more classic and sophisticated look go for it more subdued more um, cool tone um, color if you're uh, looking at nudes uh, be careful with nudes when you're um, especially for dresses because they can make you look washed out but if you're able to layer your dress because nudes go very well with a lot of different colors uh, then it's a different story but for um, tr for choosing the right nude color I would say try to go a little bit darker with a darker tone uh, of the clothing in comparison to your skin tone that would create this light contrast if you're choosing to wear the dress let's say on its own then it the chances of you watch looking washed out are much less so just bear this in mind other than that if you choose a bit more brighter colors why not i mean it's springtime uh, let's celebrate it with a bit of a pop of color i love it as well so i would say go for it with a with a with a with a various color palette whatever makes you happy and comfortable as it comes to prints i would say let's face it first it's springtime we all love a floral dress at springtime don't we but um with the prints I think we should be a bit careful if you're trying to um, not expose or you're conscious about certain parts of your body go with a small, smaller scale print or a smaller scale flower print for example uh, it looks a little bit more um, flattering and classic um, not to say that the bold prints are not great I would reach out to the bolder prints uh, and bigger prints more towards the summer when the weather is very much warmer but that's a personal preference I just say just pay attention to prints especially for spring how um, what kind of print is it and how easy is it to come to uh, layer it or to include it into your current wardrobe
And the final one is separate versus dresses. I know it's very tempting to go and just sew the dress that you have just seen on uh, your pattern um, instructions, but I would encourage you to think a step further. Can you make this dress into separates? Believe me, it's much more practical to have a top and a skirt than a dress. Not always, but believe me, it is much easier and you will use it much more than if you have a, a dress on its own. Just bear this in mind. Uh, one of the reasons why I love um, uh, wrap dresses is because I feel like I can uh, layer them very easily. Um, I can uh, make them into separates as well. I have done that and I never regret it. It's very tempting to go and sew the dress, but if you turn it into two, into separates, uh, then it, it, it becomes even more exciting later on when you have to wear these garments. Okay, well, there is definitely a lot of uh, things to consider and to think about with, uh, with these styling tips that I just shared with you today. I hope I didn't confuse you. My ultimate goal really is to share with you some ideas on how you can improve and make sure that you make the most out of your current wardrobe and bring a logical uh, pieces into it that will that will be easily styled with your current makes. Uh, so I hope these um, styling tips were food for thought for you and they will help you in uh, your next choice of your spring uh, dress and not only spring, maybe um, uh, summer or, or, or a winter dress. However, let's not forget why we sew. We sew because we love the process of sewing. So I will leave you with the message of let's just keep on sewing happily ever after. So whatever you do, don't forget to enjoy it. Well, that's it from me for today. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend ahead of you and I will see you next week. Okay, bye-bye.